Melissa Powers is giving an update on the shots fired outside of Joe Mixon's home. Let's listen in. For one count of felonious assault, one count of tampering with evidence, and two counts of having weapons while under disability. If convicted, Brewer faces a maximum possible sentence of 20 years in prison. Shalonda Mixon was indicted for one count of tampering with evidence and one count of obstruction of justice. If convicted, Shalonda Mixon faces a maximum possible sentence of four years in prison. This incident occurred on March 6, 2023, approximately 8.30 in the evening. Hamilton County Sheriff deputies were dispatched to the home of Joe Nixon, Mixon in Anderson Township relating to possible shots fired. Upon arrival, witnesses on the scene told deputies that teenagers in the neighborhood were playing Nerf Wars when apparent real shots were fired. One 16-year-old victim was found suffering from a single gunshot wound to his foot after being shot at with 10 to 11 rounds of ammunition. The victim was Mixon's neighbor playing Nerf Wars with a toy Nerf gun with his friends in his own yard when real gunfire started. The teenager heard multiple shots whizzing by his head and immediately ducked behind a tree, fearing for his life. Deputies responded and stopped the vehicle leaving the scene. There were two occupants in the car. Shalonda Mixon, the sister of Joe Mixon, was driving the car, and her boyfriend, Lamonte Brewer, was in the passenger seat. During the stops, the deputies located a firearm in the trunk of the vehicle, which later was identified as the firearm used in the offense. A search warrant was executed for the surveillance footage from Joe Mixon's home. The surveillance video showed Brewer and Joe Mixon in Mixon's backyard and Brewer firing multiple shots at the teenager. Thereafter, Shalonda Mixon is seen collecting shell casings from the yard before Shalonda Mixon and Lamonte Brewer fled in her vehicle. Joe Mixon was seen in his backyard with a firearm but did not fire any shots. Mixon had been claimed to be receiving recently death threats on social media and was concerned for his safety that evening after his sister told him there were people outside uh, with guns. As a legal gun owner, Mixon had the right to possess the firearm and did not commit a crime. I want to thank the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department for their thorough investigation. It's unbelievable that something like this could happen. It's hard to fathom how anyone could aim a gun at a child, let alone fire 10 to 11 rounds at, the, at him. It's a miracle he was not killed. Someone as dangerous as this should spend many years behind bars as, as the law will allow.